so the Brexiteers said it wouldn't happen, it'll never happen, none of these, you know, UK companies will ever leave the UK when it after it leaves um, the European Union because it will be quote unquote in a new world of opportunity. <sighs> well, this from Reuters uh, yesterday, Aston Martin seeks green light for a new car in the EU, not UK, due to Brexit uncertainty. Luxury car maker Aston Martin is applying to have a new model licensed by a regulator in the European Union rather than Britain due to uncertainty over vehicle rules after Brexit. Firms are seeking to protect themselves from any risk relating to Britain's planned EU exit next year and the quintessentially British brand framed for being James Bond's uh, car of choice wants an EU body to approve its new vintage model. Britain's Vehicle Certification Agency can, for now, sign off uh, on models to be used in the whole of the EU, like national equivalents across the 28 member states block, and this is where uh, previous Aston Martin models had been certified. Earlier this month, the European uh, Commission said that the VCA will cease, and that will, uh, and it will have to, um, uh, will cease to have authority after Britain leaves the block on March 29, uh, 2019. The Aston Martin is therefore seeking approval from a different agency for the vintage, which is priced uh, from just over uh, £120,000 in Britain due to the roll-off of the, due to roll off, uh, the production line in its uh, Gladden. I, I think that's how you say it. It's the Welsh wind. I, can't, I don't know how you say it. Uh, plant in April. Uh, if it remains, uh, if it remains as it is, and it is not negotiated that the uh, VCA can approve, then everybody that's currently using the VCA has to get approval elsewhere, and we're already starting to do that. Aston Martin chief executive Andy Palmer told Reuters on Monday, London and Brussels hope to have and it hope to agree a transitional deal at the summit next month. Uh, which will maintain free and unfettered trade until the end of 2020. But it is unclear whether any agreement will include the mutual recognition of regulators. Because of the lack of clarity, we have to take uh, the safest scenario and consequently we're, um, we're looking outside the UK, he said, in reference to the process for approving new cars. The government has promised to align align its regulations with the EU um, ones uh, EU ones in some areas, such as the automotive sector. Asked whether Aston Martin will have to seek a new British vehicle license for its new model alongside the EU one, Palmer said that it was the many areas that needed to be clarified. This is a very good question, but will probably. Uh, but probably the answer will have to be yes. And regrettably, I have to answer you with probably's because nobody knows, he said. Obtaining, the, uh, obtaining approval in Britain and the EU will lead to extra costs, he added. So, something else the, the Brexiteers said would never happen. You see, here's what happens now. Aston Martin will now look and go... Is it worth having our plants in the UK still? Because here's the thing. Toyota, a Japanese car firm, has literally just gone, if you can't guarantee us access to the single market, we're going to leave. And they're not the only Japanese company that have said that as well. So that, you know, that in itself should be sending shockwaves through a lot of people, but it's not. And again, we continue on this madness that somehow leaving the EU is going to be fine and dandy and it's all going to be rainbows and unicorns. <sighs>